Paul. Thank you, co-facilitators, for this space. I would like to endorse my colleagues who have emphasized prioritizing the most excluded before me. If we are to collectively achieve the commitment to leave no one behind and ensure the credibility of the post-2015 development agenda, the principles of transparency, accountability, participation should be at the center of sustainable development, its implementation, follow-up, and the review of this new agenda. If citizen participation is not rooted in the post-2015 agenda, a critical opportunity to enhance ownership and accountability of the agenda at all levels will be lost. To this end, we strongly recommend that language references to the people-centered nature of the new agenda and the importance of regular and meaningful participation of all, particularly for the most poorest and the most vulnerable people are strengthened in the declaration. We commend your bold reference to accountability in paragraph 38. Accountability should be results-oriented, human rights and equality-based, regular, and provide possibilities for using timely follow-up and review processes for improvement of implementation. The framing of these follow-up and review processes all throughout the zero draft should be strengthened by making explicit commitments on how governments will engage with all these stakeholders, particularly civil society in the follow-up and review and accountability of the post-2015 agenda. And at all levels and stages of review process, processes, including design of accountability mechanisms and verification data. Additionally, transparent and open data is a prerequisite for successful monitoring of agenda. And third, third party data produced by a wide range of stakeholders can strengthen and complement official reporting by providing timely, reliable, and disaggregated information that directly reflects the experiences and perspectives of stakeholders. Finally, co-facilitators, regarding the key principle of the follow-up and review and processes outlined in paragraph three of the follow-up and review chapter, we propose the addition of a sixth key principle that should read, they will focus on progress for social and economic groups that are furthest behind and monitor inequalities within and between countries. No goals shall be considered met unless met for all social and economic groups. Again, these critical principles of transparency, accountability, and participation cannot be left behind in post-2015 outcome. Uh, Co-facilitators, the TAP network is a very wide network, has around 200 members, and the specific language suggestions for this zero draft, which has been endorsed by several of these uh, civil society organizations will be provided those for you as well. Thank you.